states the nhrc has issued notices to all states and union territories on the lack of health facilities for traffic police personnel who are exposed to vehicular pollution for long hours the prolonged exposure according to the nhrc reduces the life expectancy of the policemen affects their reproductive abilities and creates a multitude of other health complications mohit has been tracking all the details of this development mohit uh, that's a very pertinent point that has been raised by the nhrc isn't it because these are the cops who are standing around at public places all day long being exposed to pollution for prolonged periods of time yet uh, there ha- no one has taken the responsibility to safeguard their health Well, certainly, you know, if you look, uh, you know, take a look at the vehicular pollution that is caused by the massive number of pollution and its impact on uh, the traffic policemen, it's enormous, and uh, you know that has been seconded by various reports uh, of top hospitals as well, which say that uh, you know their life expectancy has been going down and down, uh, given the fact that they have to, uh, you know, just stand on the streets, stand on the roads, and. Uh, try and ensure that the traffic runs smoothly but that on the other hand has not had a very productive or a, or a very good impact on their lives now the uh, nhrc has finally taken cognizance of all these reports and has sought replies from all our states and uts asking them to what steps can be taken what preventive steps can be taken to ensure that you know uh, this does not happen to them because uh, the nhrc has said that it's a clear cut violation of human rights uh how are people you know expected to stand there right on the road and uh, in such polluted conditions and uh, yet do their own work and uh, despite the fact that it is having a bad uh, it has a lot of bad implications on a person's job uh, and on his life so you know these are the these are the questions which are being raised by the nhrc it has given time uh, till 8 weeks for the states and uts to reply and uh, if not complied with strict action may be taken against uh, the states and un- union territories as well